Hey, a recent report shows that e-cigarettes are about to hit $1 billion in sales. Manufacturers say e-cigarettes can help people quit smoking. Health experts say there's no proof of that just yet. Mary Nichols with more in today's Check Your Health Report. Hey, an e-cigarette is a battery-powered device. E-cigarettes are relatively new to the market and they're growing in popularity. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, about 6% of adults have tried e-cigarettes. It does contain a, a heated coil that's vaporizing that nicotine and allowing the user to inhale the nicotine into their body. Adam Bramwell with the Utah Department of Health says e-cigarettes are marketed as a tobacco cessation tool. Cigarettes. You've met your match. But at this point, he says there's not enough evidence to suggest e-cigarettes can combat addiction. Because the e-cigarettes still contain nicotine, it just gonna, it's going to just propagate that addiction. It's going to keep that person addicted to something. And is it a thing where potentially there could be years from now, once these have been subjected to FDA approval and these have been deemed safe, where these could be a potential cessation tool? Yeah, they could be. But really, we don't know yet. What's also not known yet is if the vapor from e-cigarettes can cause health problems for non-smokers. In the meantime, the Utah Department of Health currently has a campaign reminding people that e-cigarettes are subject to the same regulations as traditional cigarettes. The Utah Indoor Clean Air Act that prevents you or I from smoking in a bar or a restaurant or wherever else indoors also includes e-cigarettes. Mary Nichols for Check Your Health.